Hello, beautiful people. I'm here with Liberty of Liberty Soaps and Aromatherapy. Today has been very slow, very lazy, relaxed, uh, mostly due to jet lag, just taking it easy. But we're gonna go to a yoga class led by my lovely sister-in-law, Chloe. My dad is going as well. I think he's done one yoga class ever. So it should be fun, I don't know. We'll see what we're gonna do later, but we're definitely gonna try to go into town sometime soon. So yeah, that's what's going on. Very nice out. This is a rare sight. How long ago was that yoga class you took? Oh, probably at least 15 years. So you're not so flexible as that class maybe? I'm still a beginner. <laughs> While we're out, we're going to hopefully try and uh, find some Lederhosen in the Durndal. Alright, so today we went and we got some Lederhosen right before going to our yoga class. So let's just look at what we got. So you, you got a hat, Dad? And I got the whole outfit because uh, <laughs> my old outfit is too small. <laughs> so I got a new one. Ooh. Pretty much. The technical legit leader hosen. And this made from cow leather? Yes, it's already soft. That's and nice. the lady gave me, I bought one nice shirt and she gave me two extra shirts. Pretty nice. So this. And then she gave me a white one and a green one. Joe has the light blue one, right Joe? Yeah. His is light blue. And then you get the, the socks to go with it. Nice. And then uh, I got myself a good hat. This one is, um, doesn't have to go with the outfit. You can wear it with regular American clothes. <laughs> That's nice. Like cowboy or Indiana Jones. Or just out in the weather. Yeah. <laughs> or a fine gentleman. I <laughs> need some protection from the sun sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what I got is called a dirndl, which is the ladies' outfit. It's this very short white shirt and the dress and then an apron. And the lady specifically told me you have to wear a push-up bra with it. <laughs> That's just how it's, how it goes. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? I didn't that part. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got some for Connor. So these are goat leather. So it's kind of softer. And he's got um, red and brown. So red to match to match. Me. We also enjoyed um, that on the way on the way here that in Germany you can drink in the back of a car, uh, so long as the driver is not. Starting to get some souvenirs, so I'll be really ready to go for how many Oktoberfest we go. It's been a fun day, nothing too, nothing too crazy, but if one in Germany, you should get the legit German clothing. That's my philosophy. I'll tune in with y'all. Later. Okay. Too sad. Cold. But I've been cold. This is nice. I guess. It's a nice day. Yeah. But it's the wind is chilly. So we're going on a little walk, and then we're gonna go out to Trier. Every house is different. I've never seen like the 
designed neighborhoods, mm -hmm. standalone houses like right. you see these days. You still see bigger car apartment complexes and stuff. I'm not saying they don't exist, I just haven't seen them. Even Something though, like even though it's totally expected, it's still fun to hear like people speaking in other languages talking to their dogs. Yeah, or like kids talking, I always find interesting because it's it's just like their normal way of life, you know. Right. We just passed a guy with his dog and he was telling his dog to stay. Of course he's speaking German. So we just hear nine. Yeah. Libby uh when Libby stays with her dog sitters, our neighbors, she like speaks German. They speak German to her, so she nice. kinda knows both. <laughs> also it's easy, it's like nine or sit is uh zit. Oh nice. <laughs> Little church here. Turn left from the right lane, right into a one way, printed on the front page, uncaged, unchanged. Try to do the long play. Something I have to get up early to go to Trier in the morning. Okay, I just got a bunch of souvenirs and some dinner stuff. So, we'll cook up some steaks today. to go through the whole store before you can go back out and it closes behind you so yeah I missed it on the way in and I just I wanted to you. get it <laughs> I saw you run out the <laughs> I just want to see it close you're about to get into some trouble <laughs> That's we why I took it. Chloe with me. <laughs> oh, there it's closed. See, can't just go in and out willy nilly. <laughs> what is this? This is like the opposite of our last trip in that we're doing regular life stuff instead of like total excursions. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's more fun? They're they're both really fun in their own way. Also, it's really fun hanging out with you guys. When it's just me and him, it's like a totally different dynamic. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, you definitely changed the way that we operate, for sure. We, we did? We, yeah, we've had trips that are like, uh, like that, where we're really busy doing lots of stuff. Yeah. And then also just kind of relaxing. Yeah, this has been very relaxing, very chill, and you're able to kind of really focus on what you're doing and like the stuff around you and all the little details. Yeah, I just you know, you could take it in better. Mm -hmm. What actually Germany's like, you know? Yeah, because I'm like looking at all these little signs. I'm like, how do you even know what is what? I mean, besides, you'd have to like look in here. That makes it easy, but <laughs> <laughs> that I have no idea. <laughs> Chloe doesn't use this section of the cart because kids' butts go there. <laughs> True, it's gross to me. <laughs> <laughs> like two layers away from poopy diaper. <laughs> I put my tea there. My friend. Your friend? Okay. Yeah. Your friend said 
He will only he use said, baby wipes. Yeah, he said, I'm not using toilet paper anymore because I'm, stri I'm strictly using baby wipes. And I was like, all right. And he said, imagine you get on your arm right here. Did you just use a dry paper towel or a toilet paper to just wipe it off and just let it go? No, hell no. I was like, that's a good point. Uh, I'll have to show y'all. The fridge is a little on the small side. It's probably like half the size of mine. Yeah, it's like one door of an American fridge. Like yeah. One half. Put that secluded in a crack, separate from the world. Where so is, it's built in. Whereas your arm is out there. Your arm is out there, so I understand that. But you can make it to a shower and not, you know, too much disruption. <laughs> it's protected. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. And he was like, well, that's a good point. And agree to disagree. <laughs> if, so if it were like your armpit, you know, you well, might you might just use a dry I mean, piece of toilet paper. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, the, the butt crack's the only place. There's nowhere else like it. It's totally secluded. You don't, you know, it, this doesn't happen with your butt crack. You, know, you don't reach up and just expose this. You know. Nice try. Milk isn't refrigerated here. I don't know much about milk. <laughs> Me neither. It lasts very, very long time. Very good grapes. Thank you. Juice? And then the eggs are the same? Eggs are the same. How long does milk last in the States like you buy it? Oh, you need to put it in the fridge within two hours of taking it out from the store. Then it like expires within a week, right? Like what's the date on it? Uh, it probably at? within one to two weeks, depending. It expires June 7th. It is currently February, <laughs> so wow. <laughs> also, all of these are very small. These are all like one a, liter. Oh. a liter. This buddy. <laughs> some better. Cork. Cork. Q U A R K. What is this? Basically mm -hmm. yogurt, except it's thick as hell. Hmm. Is it good? Yeah, I like it a lot. It's sweet. It's like almost a cream cheese thickness. Like you could scoop it and turn your spoon over and it might not come out. Dang. This place is like a regular grocery store. But they also have like clothing and underwear. I'm getting some yoga sockets. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> There's three bald guys down there. None of them are dads. <laughs> They're like all the right age though. <laughs> we don't know where we went. He's around here somewhere. Wait, what is this? Sausage. It's like kids' lunch meat. <laughs> oh, how cute. <laughs> Want some meat that looks like a bear? <laughs> no. Yeah, you need some bear shaped bread. He just like looks over and he's like, that's a lot of wieners. <laughs> that's so many wieners. Oh, nice. That's a big one. This is a damn hog. <laughs> Those ones are bigger. Ooh. It's okay, way size to, isn't everything. Way to make me feel confident. Mine was curved. <laughs> Which? The kind of look out this one. Looking at some candy. Quite a variety, and I'm gonna get some Super Dickmans, uh, which I was recommended. Basically, like this bottom part is a wafer, and then there's marshmallow on it, and then they dip the whole thing in chocolate. Dick means thick. Oh. Sometimes you'll see like a sign, and they just say dick. It's really big. <laughs> just by itself. Because the license plates are the first three letters. So maybe it's just one letter, but it's based off of where your, your car is registered. Like I've seen so many license plates that say <laughs> exactly like that. Because like my license plate is BIT, and it's anyone from the Bitburg area. It's BIT uh, is a, it's all they need is a CH. Yeah. Like if you're in Frankfurt, you might see <laughs> <laughs> as a, like, like plain as they have the license. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. You see a lot. Oh my gosh. 
I think it's from Cologne or from Kokum or something. <laughs> they have that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is kind of neat. I think I probably have enough. <laughs> we do have a lot of sweets back here. <laughs> get some wine as well. Probably that'll be the last thing. I'm going to go to the beer area. There's a ton of wine and a lot of it is very cheap. This is the brand that's on the mugs that we got and they have at Oktoberfest, so. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so good. You were Chinese too. 25 cents. We're almost at the end. There's the way to get out. Joe kept saying this visit has been a lot more shopping and food oriented than he expected <laughs> so far. <laughs> he thought it would be a lot more like traveling and yeah. driving around. It's like yeah. easy for us to forget that this grocery store is like a whole experience of itself. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys should go check out those magazines. Oh. Go check them out. <laughs> I don't know if I could put that on my video. <laughs> Just blur it out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll give you right back. <laughs> that was a whole experience. So thank you very much. Also, in Germany, the cars, they lock to each other. And in order to get a car, you have to have a coin? Yeah, any of these coins will fit into the slot and unlock the uh, key from the other cart. So then when you put the key in to another cart, usually a coin pops out. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's load this bad boy up. <laughs> we, cut, we get everything in the car. This guy just goes, wunderbar. <laughs> wunderbar. Good job. Off we go. I'm going to have a delicious feast.